Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So, to confirm, the Grace Ring no longer stacks with other Grace Rings. I tested it with a friend and you will only ever see one icon on the boss dummy. You go and attack your dummy like here and you can see that ring effect just proccing. You can see it right there, the little icon. And you will only ever see one of those no matter how many people try and activate the ring. And I confirmed that. And additionally, I went and done the math to confirm that. And what's nice is the cooldowns are separate per player. So you can still sustain it pretty readily when you have like two people. Additionally, very interestingly, the Vistani set still will stack. You will still be able to see many Taroka artifact uh, icons. You're causing that target to take 5% more damage for 5 seconds. And so everybody can still use that and it's still very viable. So the rogue update build that I made just yesterday is still very viable again. But you might want to switch out Lister's Grace to a different ring if somebody else wants to use it in your group. If you're that person, then awesome. You're providing additional damage boost to everybody, especially if you're using Vistani as well. And well, that's kind of the right way to go right now. Vistani is absolutely worth it when your entire party are using it, even if you're just using it. Being able to provide that buff to everybody, being able to like have a good build setup with it is a really good thing. And the more party buffs we use, the easier it is to get through content. My build's best right now because I had to remove everything in order to be able to check the math. Now, since today's update, the Band of Air has indeed got a 20% increase to its base damage. This, guys, does not mean it's dealing much more damage whatsoever. You can see, before the patch, dealing like nearly 10,000 in counter DPS with a maximum hit of 59,000. Then now after the patch, you can see the damage has gone up a small bit to like 11.7 thousand encounter DPS and the maximum hit gone up to 69 thousand. So they have indeed increased damage by about 20%. And yeah, this isn't on a maxed out build. My item level is only like 67 thousand. And so you could increase that item level by another 13, 15 thousand right just by getting your insignias and collars and so on and with doing that yes you will see a bit more damage than what i'm seeing right here but that doesn't mean the band of air is going to be worth it this is just an at will test to get its dps and we can compare that dps using a bit of math to let's say our overall damage which we should be dealing over like 500,000 in character dps comparatively and so before the patch band of air is dealing about three percent of our damage now it's dealing about 3.6% of our damage. I still do not then rate it as a ring that I would use. Yes, it's a little bit more viable. Yes, but I don't see it as reliable as something that's just going to give me stats. Again, I've made my point multiple times before. Band of Air is a bunch of RNG and they made it really hard to proc. So it becomes much more of a chance that you actually gain the damage hit than is really reliable when you need that damage. Again, if you need damage, let's say Master Toss in a specific time, you need to kill a Cocoon ASAP or a Barrel, you're better off having your bigger hits bigger rather than relying on a chance for some something to deal with some extra damage. However, let's move on from that. There is indeed an official giveaway from the devs for 3000 Sen on top of a vanity pet. And you can see that on your home page right here, you have your announcements, you have today's patch notes, and you also have then the giveaway. Now you will have to join their Neverwinter Discord. So I don't know exactly, but yeah, if you're on like a console, you probably need to go log on your phone or something. But I think you can get Discord on like Xbox. I'm still not entirely sure. You can click that link and it will lead you, as you can see just here, to this blog. And yeah, here you can read about it and they'll be giving away 3000 Zen. Unfortunately, only to one player, but it's actually pretty nice they're doing this. The only other place I've seen them do giveaways has been on their streams. And pretty neat. Like 10 people are going to be winners. One of them going to be really lucky with the 3000 bonus Zen. And then this is for PC and consoles. And the raffle starts December the 8th and ends December the 12th. And what you have to do is you have to go and enter the Discord. 
going there, you can either have the app like I do or log in on the website. But continuing to Discord, you're going to have to like log in. And I don't log in on the website. I have the app. And here you will have the Protectors Enclave Discord. And what you need to do it, then go is to the official giveaways. And here Persimmer made that blog, that big post about the giveaway. And you simply just react there with the crab icon. And you can get a chance to win one of these vanity pets along with 3000 Zen. Again, just like a raffle and just a heads up of this announcement section here. Whenever there's some like news and so on, they will like ping that and you will be able to see that there. Especially useful if there's some like known bugs that's going on and they need to like fix it. I think it's a very good addition. On top of that, you may have seen that Harvester of Nightmares is indeed gone and we now have the Timora's Gift event. This event is largely fashion based. You can read through the description and there's not much to it other than just killing enemies and obtaining those gifts of Timora. You can speak to your NPC here, but there's no quest or anything. You simply farm those gifts and can spend the currency that you get with those gifts to get these rewards if you're unlucky to not get them to drop for you. You have the fashion here, which is just the fool's fashion. Additionally, with the fool's crown, you can run with it with your gear as well. And then you have really cool vanity pet along with the artifact and the lucky coin. And of course, this mount, I will make a specific video dedicated just to this event tomorrow. I will obtain all the rewards, showcase them and test the artifact. So again, a massive thank you to all of these channel members for helping me keep my channel going. If I present this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. See you guys around. Goodbye for now.